Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're gonna cover a few tips on trying to find a really good target when you're new. So when you're new to the world of bug bounty hunting, you don't really know what is a good target, what exactly you should be looking for, what web pages are probably gonna be the most vulnerable. And I wanna give you a few tips on trying to narrow down those targets or subdomains that are probably gonna be more likely to be vulnerable and have vulnerabilities that you will be able to find and exploit. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I have this web page here and you're probably not gonna come into something that looks like an HTTP server test page, but you will find things that do look similar to what I'm about to show you. And if you see things like this, it's always a really great thing to say, okay, this page is probably one that they're not really focused on security or they're just lacking security measures or just things for you to know as you enumerate. And the first thing that really would stick out to you is this server is powered by CentOS. So you could just Google this and look and see if there's any admin pages, if there's any login pages, Pages, if there's any known vulnerabilities. And even better than that, it tells you down here, it's sent OS 8 and it's powered by Apache. So you know you're dealing with Linux and a lot of this stuff will look familiar to you as you grow in the world of cybersecurity. And this just gives away a whole lot of information, but you're not really ever gonna see anything like this. You will see stuff like this powered by, and then it's gonna have this sent OS 8 and you can go enumerate and look to see if there's any vulnerabilities for this. If you can usually go out and look to see what other softwares are used with the sent OS 8 and see if there's anything vulnerable to that and look for those types of things. And one thing that I always check that helps me narrow down whether or not I want to attack a page or a subdomain is this right here. If they're not willing to update their date, then they're probably not updating their software. They're probably not keeping up with best practices. And so when I'm looking through subdomains, this is somewhere I like to go. If I find something like this, I just recently passed a page that said 2019. And I thought, man, if they're not willing to just update their basic JavaScript right here, then the chances that they have vulnerabilities here is going to be really high. So I like to look at these dates and then you'll see things like this sent OS 8 on web pages and you can go enumerate that as well. The more stuff that they forget to hide or change or just update tells me that this subdomain is one that the developers are not really looking at. And so another page that I have found in the wild looks similar to this. You will see things like this. Usually what happens is there'll be some new product comes out by the company and what they do is they'll create a blog and they'll talk about it on this blog on this subdomain usually it's not on the main page it'll be on some subdomain that you have found with wfuzz or fuff or something like that and when you find these blogs and subdomains you'll see things like this published december 16 2020 and there'll be a bunch of dates Here's the 14th and you'll be like, okay, this is, so this is a really old subdomain, but this actually is not a subdomain. I'm just giving you an example, but you'll come across things like this and you'll be like, this is a really old subdomain that ha that was a blog that they used to promote this specific product. And then as you scroll down, you'll see that it's powered by WordPress. I always recommend if there is a content management system so WordPress, GoDaddy, Wix, anything like that, choose those first because they'll have a lot of plugins and a lot of software that they have to keep up to date. And usually the developers or whoever owns the website doesn't do that themselves. They rely on WordPress to just go ahead and update, but there will be vulnerabilities. So if you see a content management system, that is always something to go after. And a lot of times, even huge companies are gonna use content management systems on their subdomains for blogs and promoting their products. So look for these subdomains domains that are powered by content management systems that are also out of date. These are gonna be great targets for you because they have probably not been traveled and the developers and the company may not even know that they that these blogs are even up anymore and they might think that they've already been taken down. So these are a few tips as you are new to the world of bug bounty. I know it can be hard trying to find targets and decide what to attack. Just don't attack main pages. Remember to look for the dates that something it has been published, look for past powered by or software or any, anything that carries any kind of number on the web application. And then always look for content management systems. These are going to be your best bet when you are new to bug bounty and you are searching and finding these pages is gonna be really hard, but it'll actually be really good for your recon skills. And so in the beginning, just do a lot of recon. And when you come across a page that looks like one of these, that you have a content management system, an out of date blog, or they failed to update the date, 
right here, then I would suggest go ahead and do some more enumeration, especially if you see something like this right here. You can do some more enumeration and see what exactly you can find and test that web application, but make sure it's in scope because sometimes these subdomains will get left out of scope, but sometimes I have come across them and they are still left up. You can find vulnerabilities and usually what they'll do if they were using it to promote an old product is they'll just take down the entire subdomain rather than fix it. You as the bug bounty hunter will still get rewarded for finding a vulnerability on this page. And these are my recommendations. As you are searching for targets, you're going to want to look for good targets. So three things to remember is version numbers, content management systems, and something that is out of date. So good luck with your recon and finding these subdomains and these really juicy targets. Thanks for watching.